Let me uh, say three, three things and I will come to uh, the specific point uh, you raised. Uh, first, uh, the point has famously been made, and I believe Bob's father was involved in making it, that there are self-fulfilling prophecies and self-denying uh, prophecies. Self-fulfilling prophecies are the prophecy that a bank will run, that there'll be a run on a bank. Even if the bank's pretty healthy, if everybody thinks the bank's going to fail, everybody will try to take their money out and there will be a bank run. Self-denying prophecies are the, prospe are, the, are, are the prophecy that house prices will always go up. Because if everyone believes that house prices will always go up, they will bid them up to a point where it will no longer be true that they will go up and that they will start to go uh, down. I think one way of, uh, just, just, give me a second. I think one way of understanding uh, George's, uh, George's views is really as a financial market and a broader elaboration of those concepts of self-fulfilling and self-denying prophecies. And they have in common the element that is somewhat different than the perspective that financial scholars somewhat, sometimes take that markets aren't just trying to predict what reality is going to be in terms of the profits of a company, but what happens in markets in turn affects what subsequently happens. And obviously, as the examples I suggested in housing and a bank run suggest, once one has that element of self-fulfilling and self-denying prophecy, the sense that everything will be stable and the sense that if you stand back and let it rip, everything will work out for the best. Um, are not to be assumed. And I think those are very powerful and important ideas. In some ways, those are the ideas that animated much of what was done in the wake of the Depression uh, to contain and function a market system. And with a rather different set of institutions, a rather different configuration of markets and the global economy, I think those ideas that uh, because of this self-fulfilling nature of prophecies in both directions, there's a strong public uh, responsibility and a public responsibility that has to be renovated if capital is to sp capitalism is to be saved from itself. I think those are very powerful uh, and important ideas. Second thing I would say is that I think it is a serious mistake, and there's been a certain amount of this, uh, to be dismissive of um, modernity and all this trading and all this breaking up of risks and all of this stuff. And to think, you know, life was kind of better when there were just sort of banks and banks did everything. I don't minimize at all the seriousness of the problems that we are facing. But imagine that all the lending that took place in California took place from California banks that were allowed only to lend in California. Think about how much larger a problem we would have of failed institutions if there had been no capacity to diversify uh, the risk across uh, different parts of uh, the country. Think about how much worse these problems of interest rate fluctuations would have been if as in the old days, you had banks writing 30-year mortgages and taking deposits that had a six-month horizon. And what happened when interest rates went up? We sort of saw that movie in the 80s and 90s. The institutions went uh, bankrupt. So I think it's important to understand that a modern financial system has been created, not just because um, boys like casinos, it has also, uh, though they do, it has also, uh, it has also been uh, created because there are important functions to be, functions to be performed of identifying uh, different kinds of uh, risks, of sharing risks, of recognizing there's a role for specialization. Our society is a richer and better functioning one because of investments that Peter made in places like uh, Facebook and PayPal and there's a fellow investor I trust over time in, uh, in, big, in uh, big Think as well. It is unlikely 
that those investments would have been made in the same way by a large bureaucratic build institution operating in a multi-story building. And so this concept of a different, more modern financial system has very important benefits that need to be recognized as we think about the structure.